What's good? What's good? What's good? YouTube. Be sure to um subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time that I go live or I upload. This is your host, Moses Bochamp, coming at you with another video. Thank you for coming through and checking out my videos. Be sure to go back and check out all my previous videos. Today, man, talking about this cop who shot and killed this young man out of Roanoke, Virginia for using bathroom at Krispy Kreme. What's really good, man? What's really going on? I mean, we have all these senseless killings that are being done by the very people that are supposed to be protecting and serving. What's up? Our tax dollars pay these guys salaries and they're going around killing our people. And the crazy thing about it is this dude that they um, killed out here in uh, Virginia. And they're not saying that he's dead yet, but I'm thinking dude is dead. I mean, um, from what I understand, it was like six shots that, that rang out. I don't know. I mean, here on the um on the news, they're saying that uh that that the man was hit by the officer's gunfire while they were responding to a trespassing call at the Krispy Kreme on Hershberger Road out here in Northwest Roanoke, Virginia, earlier this afternoon. Today's Wednesday. October 16th, happy birthday to my pops, today's his birthday, but yeah, they responded to this call, according to, um, this, uh, rolling a police officer, um, he was dispatched around 1245, uh, earlier this afternoon, and located what he's calling the subject at the scene, and he began to talk to him. And uh, the officer said that uh, he noticed that the suspect had a firearm during this interaction and just ended up firing his service weapon at this young man. And um, it goes on to say here on the news that after being hit, the suspect fled on foot and was uh, brought into custody nearby uh, and was taken to the, to the hospital. But, um, you know what I'm saying? From what I'm hearing from witnesses, which I'm about to share with you real quick. Give me one second. I'll share with you that this video that was posted on Facebook in uh, one of the local groups out here. And, you know, listen to what this lady is saying real quick. Second while my own little tablet here catch up with me. I'm using a Microsoft Surface Pro 3. I usually use Adele and Spiron. You could pick them up both, either the um, Microsoft Surface Pro or the Dell at Amazon. On the link below that I'll drop below this video in the description. But um, listen to this um, what this lady is saying here. She was there. I wasn't. She was there, and I don't think that. He's going to lie. You feel me? 
get out of here before we get shot because he, he paused first shot you. because we heard the shots. We heard we the heard, pause. No, my oh. husband did. Oh, because we were turning. Of in. course, you're gonna stop. We, Anybody, we, I we stop. When shots. you get shot, you you pump okay. your brakes. I don't care if you're driving, first, walking, or whatever. You, you pump didn't your see brakes. Anybody. We heard shots over right. on the other side. So my husband stops, and then all of a sudden, all the men I guess that were working in the building come flying out and went around. Then right after them, the gentleman that was shot come out and the cop behind him, probably 15, 20 yards, something like that behind him, hollering, show me your hands, show me your hands. And the guy's running toward the back and the cop just goes, I heard three shots. My husband said he heard four or five. It was three. Yeah. Wow. I heard three. I heard three. So I heard, three. So I heard Physically, the I heard three, three shot and the, the boy fell. I don't know whether it was hit or whether he lost his balance in the wet grass, but he fell. But when he fell, he fell kind of with his face toward the officer, not laying, you know, flat, yeah. but kind of twisted. And the cop says, show me your hands, yeah. show me your hands. Well, I saw his hands. His hands were like this. I did not see a gun in the gentleman's hand that was running from the cop. That's and he shot up. three more times then. That's shot and cut out. Three more times. That's shot and cut out. Are you going to be there? I mean, are you going to be, they got your they, I gave the because a little loud mouth when we asked. Well, baby, I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't even be a part of that. The way the world is going on right now, they might try to silence anybody around you. They don't want, they don't, they want protection of the cops. They don't, they don't care about us. Josh if you ain't in the blue and gray, you are in the way. If you ain't in the blue and gray, you are in the way. Yep. I hate to say it. Being honest, if you ain't in the blue and gray, you are in the way. He said, if you're not in the blue and gray, you're in the way. What you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. You think that if you're not in the blue and gray, you're in the way? I sometimes feel that way myself. I mean, just by seeing all the things that are that are going on in this world. I mean, the um, Botham Jean case. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right after that, um, the lady that, that got killed, um, what's her name, uh, uh, after net or some, something, I don't want to butcher her name, so, you know, her last name was Jefferson, so, I would just say the Jefferson lady, out of, um, Texas, you know what I'm saying, chilling at home, playing video games with her nephew, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, she gets murdered. You know what I'm saying? Chilling at home. Same thing with uh uh Boss and Jean. He was home eating ice cream or getting ready to eat ice cream. And uh you know what I'm saying? Police kills him. You know what I'm saying? And the, the crazy thing about this, this happened at twelve this afternoon. Is uh almost seven o'clock, five minutes to seven. And um, the news haven't uh, mentioned anything else about this. They haven't said that the dude is in stable condition and or if he's dead or he's in critical condition. They haven't said nothing else about it. You feel me? You feel me? You heard what that lady said. She told her to get out, get out the way. You know what I'm saying? You heard what my man said. You're not in the blue and gray. You're in the way. What you think? You think if uh, you're not in the blue and gray, you're in the way? Hmm. Something to think about. Crazy. Crazy the things that's, that that is going on in this world. Right. There's that uh a witness also said that as they were coming in to the lows, they heard shots. Um, they weren't sure in which direction they were coming from, but um. Know, they slowed down and came to a stop and then uh, they saw the police officer saying show me your hands show me your hands like the lady said in um, her her video and um, then the man was running or the dude I guess 
ran from the cops after he was shot and then uh the officer fired again and he was down the, the um witness that they that they're not sure how many fires you know how many shots were fired but um they heard at least five you feel me these five shots I mean, what happened to the tasers? <laughs> you feel me? What happened to their training? I don't know. They say that the state police are taking over the investigation. Um, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's being investigated by the state police. But man, justice, man. Can we get some justice for um just being alive, man? Good God almighty. I mean, this guy was just using the bathroom. And like I said earlier, I'm familiar with the people that work at Krispy Kreme. That's how I got some of this inside information. You know, he was using the bathroom. The manager um, banged on the door, asked him to leave. Probably pissed him off a little bit. Me knowing her the way I know her, knowing her, she probably called the cops. Whether the dude had a gun or not, I don't know. He may have or may have something that looked like a gun. But I believe that he may have told the police that he had a gun. He may have seen them. Took off running. They shot him. Dude dropped to the ground. And they shot him again. That's what it seemed like. That's what it seemed like. Anyway, my good peoples. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Cops are just going around shooting and killing people like there's no tomorrow. What can we do about the situation? You know what I'm saying? Count Cabernet went on went down on the knee due to this matter. You feel me? And now he's um jobless. And uh, I'm not going to get into the Jay-Z thing and all that. But um, that's another subject for another day. But you guys think, think about all these cops just going around killing people. Crazy. What is this world coming to? Feel me? Anyway, this is your boy, Moses Bochan. It's a sad, sad day out here in Roanoke. Send out your prayers to this dude's family. I don't know dude's name. I know I've seen him there at the Krispy Kreme a lot of times. He would go in there to um, charge his phone. A lot of times he would purchase a small coffee or a hot chocolate. And he would sit there and charge his phone. You know what I'm saying? Never seen him bother anybody. You know what I'm saying? I never seen him asking people for money or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Simply seen him go there, charge his phone, use the bathroom. Is that a crime? Let me know in the comment section. Hey, like the video, share the video. You didn't like the video, dislike the video. Check uh check out my own um, Papa shop. I got t-shirts, hoodies, uh, all kinds of things. Baseball caps, beanies, all kinds of things. Coffee mugs. 
going through and uh, support your boy by purchasing something from my little pop-up shop. The link will be provided below in the description. If you know a felon or you yourself are an ex-felon who's coachable, motivated, and uh, you have a strong desire to be successful and would like to learn how to build your own online business, hey, I'll drop that link below as well. With that said, this is your boy, Moses Bochan. Throwing them V's up for victory. One love. Peace.